Hello everybody, my name is Dimitri, and today I'll be presenting Drummer Score, an automatic drum transcription software I developed for my bachelor's thesis. So what is transcription? Uh, transcription is the process of taking music, readily available music, listening to it, and then writing out perceived notes on a note staff. We are basically taking information from music and we are retrieving it and putting it, it on notation. In my case, I wanted to do music information retrieval in drums. So in my spare time, I play the drums and this project largely stems from my own frustrations with available software. Uh, this project aims to alleviate them by using an AI automation and critical thought philosophy. Additionally, the significance of my project lies in making automatic drum transcription accessible while introducing the necessity of audio visualization methods in software as well. Consequently, I developed a hypothesis that there is a lack of dedicated drum transcription software, with most people resorting to the time-consuming process of pen and paper scoring. In order to confirm that I'm in fact not in an echo chamber and that the software is desirable, I conducted a brief survey in an international drumming school network, receiving 262 responses. I also did one unstructured, unstructured interview with my drumming teacher. Here on this slide, we can see indeed that the pen and paper method is the most popular across the board, with instructors or more seasoned drum players selecting Guitar Pro and DAW software. Inexperienced students rely instead on the internet or their instructors for drum scores. Now on this histogram chart, we can also see that the pen and paper method takes the longest according to participants. The normal distributions in the DAW and Guitar Pro methods indicate that people find the process to take an okay amount of time. Finally, I asked whether the participants felt a lack of dedicated drum transcription software to which the majority responded to as yes. Additionally, people using Guitar Pro and DAWs were more likely to be satisfied, as can be deduced from the yes-no ratios of those methods. Uh, the informal interview entailed a demonstration of the software's capabilities and a discussion of its potential. The teacher told me that instructors such as himself could greatly benefit from the software, as they make high-quality transcriptions not just for themselves, but also for students. So, we can conclude that the hypothesis was correct. There is indeed a distinct lack of software, especially with ADT. Additionally, given the way beginners rely on third parties for scores, the project would provide most merit to hobbyist professional players. With that out of the way, let us now discuss the AI automation aspect of the project, training a convolutional neural network from the ground up. Given my extensive undocumented work with the eGMD drum dataset, I decided to create my own since it allows me to have better control over data quality. The dataset uses source separation and iterative labeling to increase the accuracy of its predictions. Here we have a data flow chart of a kind of plan to how we could classify and transcribe songs automatically. So first we take any song, we run it through a source separation algorithm, which is an algorithm that takes mixed songs and separates them on individual tracks after it's been downsampled. Since we are doing drum transcription, we are selecting the drum channel and detecting onsets, individual notes of drums in that track. After we have the second positions of the onsets for every drum note in a track, we will then select a particular feature from that timestamp. After we select the necessary features that are descriptive of a particular drum sound, we will then use that to classify the, that individual sound. So here is how I did it. Basically taking an audio file and running it through a demux source separation algorithm and then using an onset detection algorithm based on Librosa. I then visualized a MEL spectrogram and MFCC features and used that as an input to my convolutional neural network. My thesis also describes a couple of additional methods such as spectral roll-off, spectral contrast, and uh, zero crossing rate as 
very helpful features for drum, um, for drum classifications, but I was unable to con uh, to put them in as joint features yet. After that, we put them into a convolutional neural network as our data, which then gives us predictions we can, which we can easily turn into a MIDI file that we can later edit for scoring software. Now, the next slide shows how I iteratively improved the model with semi-supervised learning. First, we feed the model new data. We then review the predictions and correct any mistakes the model made, well, where it was less confident. And finally, we take those corrections and we use them to train a new and improved model, repeating the process over and over again, achieving, hopefully, a better model by the end of it. And here are my results. Uh, the best performing model is 104. It reached an accuracy of 91%, and it performs best on simple drumming patterns. However, further additions to the data set did not yield significant improvements, which indicates that we may need to increase the complexity of the model further in later iterations. Note that I created my model with the philosophy of if the simplest approach works, we got to keep it. And gradually we would increase the complexity if we need it. But currently the results are pretty adequate. In order to demonstrate that they are indeed accurate and not too bad, let's listen to an audio demonstration of a song. So that was the original, that's how the original sounded like. Let us now listen to the predictions generated by the model that I converted into MIDI. So it's a little wonky on the more complex patterns, but given the limited nature of the not only data set, but also the model, I think the model performs adequately well for its, for its current status. So now that we have the model performing adequately well, we can discuss a little bit about the design for the software and a small little prototype that I came up with. So here we have a couple of benchmarked uh, softwares that I found on the internet for drum transcriptions and based on all of that I came up with five points that the software should have it should have spectrogram visualization which is a remarkably underdeveloped aspect in any scoring application and I believe that it is very useful to have to, just based off of my experience when I was manually labeling thousands of drum notes I found that having a spectrogram alongside uh, audio methods was incredibly useful. Additionally, we need to have dynamic playback, which allows us to turn different channels on and off. We need to have a, a support for a drum machine and uh, notation score editing. So we need to have a convenient way to edit the notes dynamically with dynamic playback. Also, the drum machine and the scores should have note snapping, which is basically aligning the notes to a beat tracking algorithm because regular um, drum regular drum plays, regular drum sounds, they're not perfect. They're not perfectly aligned. So we can, we're can we going to have to use some note snapping features. Uh, we need to have expressive drumming settings, which is the greatest uh, setback of a model like this currently. So in order to account for that, in the complementary software, we will add expressive drumming settings. And finally, the software must have the philosophy that I mentioned at the beginning. So here is a little mock-up of how I imagine the software could look like. First, we have a spectrogram visualization that users can use to double check whether the model made correct predictions. We have the dynamic playback buttons that allow the user to turn the different channels on and off. And finally, we have the predicted notes on the drum machine that the model generated that were note snapped. Uh, along a beat tracking algorithm. 
So finally, I want to discuss some of the limitations as well as plans of the project. So here are the current limitations. First, the onset detection, as well as the model itself, they both struggle to identify some of the finer drumming sounds, especially with hi-hats or under uh, fast drumming conditions. So it has issues in terms of expressive drumming. Uh, another problem is that not all spectral features that I reviewed in my thesis I used in constructing this model, whereas it would it could be the key to solving the problem of the first two issues of struggling to identify expressive drumming. So we, instead of just using a MEL spectrogram, we could use additional features such as spectral roll-off, zero crossing rate, and uh, spectral contrast. Finally, the the number of classes in my data set is rather limited. It's only limited to six with the kick, snare, tom, hi-hat, crash, and ride. And that needs to increase to get better transcriptions. And finally, the Demux algorithm that we use for source separation is rather resource intensive. So cloud computing is a must. Another thing that is not on this slide is that currently there is no well, expressive drumming. There is no nothing that takes into account the velo the velocity of different notes. So that is also something that we have to consider. So in order to alleviate these limitations, the following prospects have been developed. Uh, first, we can improve the architecture by ad adding a recurrent layer and attempt to combine onset detection and classification in an in an ensemble model. Uh, we will also most most definitely use extra spectral features as they can be the key to solving the issue of expressive drumming. Finally, we will use the UI to, to create a full-fledged application available to consumers. So in the future, it will be great to see development in audio visualization for scoring systems. The hope of this software is that it encourages audio, visual, and rhythmic skill development, all the while reducing the time it takes to chart a song so that drummers may spend more time playing and less time scoring. So thank you for watching. Uh, this is a link to the GitHub for the software. I am hoping to gather a community of people that could help me with this project as I'm very new to the sphere. And this kind of thesis was my first outing into this very complicated world of data science. And I'm hoping to gather like-minded individuals that could help me in the goal of making automatic drum transcription available for more people. So yeah, thank you.